They are at different ends in their careers, one on top of the world's ladder, the other just getting her feet on the rungs. But Stacey Lewis and Jennifer Kirby are both trying to accomplish the same thing, play the best possible golf they can on the world's toughest tour. Lewis, the number one ranked golfer in the world, and Kirby, the Canadian rookie with a stellar amateur record, have found a friendship on the LPGA Tour this year, having been brought together in several ways. It's been cool this year. I've got three, four rookies that I've kind of been working with, and um, it's fun to see things through their eyes. You know, you forget, you know, as a rookie, you know, learning golf courses, learning how to travel, learning, you know, just little things on the road. And, um, you know, Jennifer, you know, obviously you look at her record. She's got a great record, great player. Um, she's pretty quiet into herself, um, but I think she's, you know, once she gets more comfortable out here, comfortable being around all the other girls and traveling, you know, I think I think she's going to do pretty well, but because she's very talented. And um, But it's, again, it's just so fun to see things through their eyes again and little things I don't even think about anything anymore. You know, they're asking, you know, well, how do you know where the pins are going going to be on the greens. I'm like, well, I've got the holes for the last few years. So um, it's just, it's fun. It's fun though, seeing things through their eyes again. It's definitely a little bit intimidating, I think, to learn how, you gotta learn golf courses, you gotta learn how to travel. You have to, you know, learn how to not play too many weeks in a row, how to manage your practice time, because now you're playing more golf than you've ever played before. So it's definitely a hard adjustment. And so that's why I like to help the kids out and, you know, give them a little bit of guidance. They have a rookie program this year, so I've got to spend a little bit of time with her and she's really nice and um, I got to shadow her one time for a rookie hour when she was doing a pro-am and she's just a model of consistency and she hits it very straight and she just goes about her business and gets it done. So far this year, Kirby is still trying to learn the ropes in her first year of playing for money. She's played well in spurts but hasn't yet been able to put four rounds together. And in addition to trying to find her game, she's also trying to adjust to a new lifestyle. It's a, it's a different lifestyle, definitely, and it's kind of like a community, a traveling community out here. So, um, I mean, there's a lot of girls out here, and you could stay at the golf course all day, and you know, you think, oh, everyone's practicing, I need to be practicing. But if you just watch people individually, everyone has their own schedule and what works best for them, and it's just kind of finding your groove out here. Lewis, meanwhile, continues to roll along. Her victory at the ShopRite LPGA Classic was her second of the year and pushed her over a million dollars in earnings and tops on the tour. Still, the 29-year-old from Toledo, Ohio, isn't satisfied and won't be taking it easy anytime soon. Obviously, the last month or so has been really good. You know, I think if I don't get those the two wins the last couple months, it becomes pretty frustrating. Um, but the way I've played, it's been so solid, so consistent, and just and easy. You know, I haven't had to really stress too much. And um, you know, being in those last few groups is where that's where I want to be every week. So just keep I just keep putting myself there, and you get more comfortable. You kind of learn how you learn your emotions. You learn how to handle things better, and I feel like that's what's shown these last few weeks.